NCLEX, PN Practice Exam 6. Question 1. The physician has ordered Stardobdorphanol for a post-operative client. The nurse knows that the medication is having its intended effect if the client A. is asleep 30 minutes after the injection. B. asks for extra servings on his meal tray. C. has an increased urinary output. D. states that he is feeling less nauseated. Answerer is correct. Stardol reduces the perception of pain, which allows the post-operative client to rest. Answers B and C are not affected by the medication, therefore, they are incorrect. Relief of pain generally results in less nausea, but it is not the intended effect of the medication, therefore, answer D is incorrect. Question 2. The mother of a child with cystic fibrosis tells the nurse that her child makes snoring sounds when breathing. The nurse is aware that many children with cystic fibrosis have a. Joanlatresia b. Nasal polyps c. Septal deviations d. Enlarged adenoids NCLEX, PN practice Question 1. The physician has ordered Stardobdorphanol for a post-operative client. The nurse knows that the medication is having its intended effect if the client A. is asleep 30 minutes after the injection. B. asks for extra servings on his meal tray. C. has an increased urinary output. D. states that he is... Question 3. A client is hospitalized with hepatitis A. Which of the client's regular medications is contraindicated due to the current illness? A. Prilosecomeprazil. B. Synthroid Lovathyroxine. C. Primarin conjugated estrogens. D. Lipitorat of Astatin. Question 2. The mother of a child with cystic fibrosis tells the nurse that her child makes snoring sounds when breathing. The nurse is aware that many children with cystic fibrosis have a. Joanlatresia b. NCLEX, PN Practice Exam 6 Question 1. The physician has ordered st Question 3. A client is hospitalized with hepatitis A. Which of the client's regular medications is contraindicated due to the current illness? A. Prilosecomeprazil. B. Synthroid lovathyroxine. C. Primarin conjugated estrogens. D. Lipitorat of astatin. Question 2. The mother of a child with Answerer is correct. The child will need to avoid straddle toys, swimming, and rough play until allowed by the surgeon. Answers B, C, and D do not relate to the post-operative care of the child with hyperspadias, therefore, they are incorrect. Question 6. An obstetrical client calls the clinic with complaints of morning sickness. The nurse should tell the client to a. Keep crackers at the bedside for eating before she arises. B. 
drink a glass of whole milk before going to sleep at night. C. Skip breakfast but eat a larger lunch and dinner. D. Drink a glass of orange juice after adding a couple of teaspoons of sugar. Question 3. A client is hospital. Question 1. The physician has ordered Stardogdorfenol for a post-operative client. The nurse knows that the medication is having its intended effect if the client A. Is asleep 30 minutes after the injection. B. Asks for extra servings on his meal tray. C. Has an increased urinary output. D. States that he is feeling less nausea. Question 7. The nurse has taken the blood pressure of a client hospitalized with methicillin resistance to Aphylococcus aureus. Which action by the nurse indicates an understanding regarding the care of clients with MRSA? A. The nurse leaves the stethoscope in the client's room for future use. B. The nurse cleans the stethoscope with alcohol and returns it to the exam room. C. The nurse uses the stethoscope to assess the blood pressure of other assigned clients. D. The nurse cleans the stethoscope with water, dries it, and returns it to the nurse's station. Question 6. An obstetrical client calls the clinic with complaints of morning sickness. The nurse should tell the client to A. Keep crackers at the bedside for eating before she arises. B. Drink a glass of whole milk before going to sleep at night. C. Skip breakfast but eat. Question 8. The physician has discussed the need for medication with the parents of an infant with congenital hypothyroidism. The nurse can reinforce the physician's teaching by telling the parents that A. The medication will be needed only during times of rapid growth. B. The medication will be needed throughout the child's lifetime. C. The medication schedule can be arranged to allow for drug holidays. D. The medication is given one time daily every other day. Question 7. The nurse has taken the blood pressure of a client hospitalized with methicillin resistance to Aphylococcus aureus. Which action by the nurse indicates an understanding regarding the care of clients with MR? Answer B is correct. Glucotrol XL is given once a day with breakfast. Answer A is incorrect because the client would develop hyperglycemia while sleeping. Answers C and D are incorrect because the client would develop hyperglycemia later in the day or evening. Answer A is correct. The child will need to avoid straddle toys, swimming, and rough play until allowed by the surgeon. Answers B, C and D do not relate to the post-operative care of the child with hyperspadias, therefore, they are incorrect. Answer D is correct. The client with myasthenia develops progressive weakness that worsens during the day. Answer A is incorrect because it refers to symptoms of multiple sclerosis. Answer B is incorrect because it refers to symptoms of Guillain-Barre syndrome. Answer C is incorrect because it refers to Parkinson's disease. Question 11. The nurse is teaching the parents of a newborn with osteogenesis imperfecta. The nurse should tell the parents a. That the baby will need daily calcium supplements. B. To lift the baby by the buttocks when diapering. C. That the condition is a temporary one. D. That only the bones are affected by the disease. 
Answer B is correct. Blue Cotra. Answer A is correct. The child will need to avoid straddle toys, swimming, and rough play until allowed by the surgeon. Answers B, C, and D do not relate to the post-operative care of the child with hyperspadias, therefore, they are incorrect. Answer is correct. Placing the client on strict NPO status will stop the inflammatory process by reducing the secretion of pancreatic enzymes. The use of low, intermittent suction prevents release of secretion in the duodenum. Answer B is incorrect because the client requires exogenous insulin. Answer C is incorrect because it does not prevent the secretion of gastric acid. Answer D is incorrect because it does not eliminate the need for analgesia. Question 11. The nurse is teaching the parents of a newborn with osteogenesis imperfecta. The nurse should tell the parents. A. That the baby will need daily calcium supplements. B. To lift the baby by the buttocks when diapering. C. That the condition is a temporary one. D that only the bones are affected by the disease. Question 8. The physician has discussed. Answer B is correct. A rigid or board-like abdomen is suggestive of peritonitis, which is a complication of diverticulitis. Answers A, C, and D are common findings in diverticulitis, therefore, they are incorrect. Question 14. The diagnostic workup of a client hospitalized with complaints of progressive weakness and fatigue confirms a diagnosis of myasthenia gravis. The medication used to treat myasthenia gravis is A. Prostigmine neostigmine B. Atropine atropine sulfate C. Didronletidronate D. Tensilonedrophonium <laughs> Answer is correct. Protagmine is used to treat clients with myasthenia gravis. Answer B is incorrect because it is used to reverse the effects of neostigmine. Answer C is incorrect because the drug is unrelated to the treatment of myasthenia gravis. Answer D is incorrect because it is the test for myasthenia gravis. Question 11. The nurse is teaching the parents of a newborn with osteogenesis imperfecta. The nurse should tell the parents a. that the baby will need daily calcium supplements b. to lift the baby by the buttocks when diapering c. that the condition is a temporary one d. that only the bones are affected by the disease. Question 7. The nurse has taken the blood pressure of a client hospitalized with methicillin resistance to Aphylococcus aureus. Which action by the nurse indicates an understanding regarding the care of clients with MRSA? A. The nurse leaves the stethoscope in the client's room for future use. B. The nurse cleans the stethoscope with alcohol and returns it to the exam room. Answer is correct. The child will need to avoid straddle toys, swimming and rough play until allowed by the surgeon. Answers B, C, and D do not relate to the post-operative care of the child with hyperspadias, therefore, they are incorrect. Uh -huh. 
answer is correct. Prodigmine is used to treat clients with myasthenia gravis. Answer B is incorrect because it is used to reverse the effects of neostigmine. Answer C is incorrect because the drug is unrelated to the treatment of myasthenia gravis. Answer D is incorrect because it is the test for myasthenia gravis. Question 17. At the six-week checkup, the mother asks when she can expect the baby to sleep all night. The nurse should tell the mother that most infants begin to sleep all night by age. A. One month. B. Two months. C. Three to four months. D. Five to six months. Question 7. The nurse has taken the Answer D is correct. The client with myasthenia develops progressive weakness that worsens during the day. Answer A is incorrect because it refers to symptoms of multiple sclerosis. Answer B is incorrect because it refers to symptoms of Guillain-Barre syndrome. Answer C is incorrect because it... Question 18. Which of the following pediatric clients is at greatest risk for latex allergy? A. The child with a myelomeningo cell. B. The child with epispadias. C. The child with coxaplana. D. The child with rheumatic fever. Answer is correct. Protagmine is NCLEX PN practice exam 6. Question 19. The nurse is teaching the mother of a child with cystic fibrosis how to do postural drainage. The nurse should tell the mother to A. Use the heel of her hand during percussion. B. Change the child's position every 20 minutes. C. Do percussion after the child eats and at bedtime. D. Use cupped hands during percussion. Question 18. Which of the following pediatric clients is at greatest risk for latex allergy? A. The child with a myelomeningo cell. B. The child with epispadias. C. The child with coxaplana. D. The child with rheumatic fever. Answer D is correct. The client with myasthenia develops progressive weakness that worsens during the day. Answer A is incorrect because it refers to symptoms of multiple sclerosis. Answer B is incorrect because it refers to symptoms of Guillain-Barre syndrome. Answer C is incorrect because it refers to Parkinson's disease. Question 17. At the six weeks. Answer B is correct. A rigid or board-like abdomen is suggestive of peritonitis, which is a complication of diverticulitis. Answers A, C, and D are common findings in diverticulitis, therefore, they are incorrect. Answer is correct. The child will need to avoid straddle toys, swimming, and rough play until allowed by the surgeon. Answers B, C, and D do not relate to the post-operative care of the child with hyperspadias, therefore, they are incorrect. Question 17. 
At the six-week checkup, the mother asks when she can expect the baby to sleep all night. The nurse should tell the mother that most infants begin to sleep all night by age. A. One month. B. Two months. C. Three to four months. D. Five to six months. Answer B is correct. A rigid or b Answer D is correct. Tucking a disposable diaper at the perineal opening will help prevent soiling of the cast by urine and stool. Answer A is incorrect because the head of the bed should be elevated. Answer B is incorrect because the child can place the crayons beneath the cast, causing pressure areas to develop. Answer C is incorrect because the child does not need high-calorie foods that would cause weight gain while she is immobilized by the cast. Answer is correct. Protagmine is Answer B is correct. A rigid or board-like abdomen is suggestive of peritonitis, which is a complication of diverticulitis. Answers A, C, and D are common findings in diverticulitis, therefore, they are incorrect. Answer D is correct. Tucking a dispo- Answer is correct. Protagmine is used to treat clients with myasthenia gravis. Answer B is incorrect because it is used to reverse the effects of neostigmine. Answer C is incorrect because the drug is unrelated to the treatment of myasthenia gravis. Answer D is incorrect because it is the test for myasthenia gravis. Answer B is correct. An adverse reaction to Cognex is drug-induced hepatitis. The nurse should monitor the client for signs of jaundice. Answers A, C, and D are incorrect because they are not associated with the use of Cognex. Answer B is correct. A rigid or board-like abdomen is suggestive of peritonitis.